Love and Tap Quickies, where we cover um, quick takes on, this is our quick takes on, you know, current topics and news and stuff. Okay, you get it. I'm going to put the little thing in the beginning. Okay. I'm going to do a whole, it's going to be quick and cap, quick, quick and cap quickie. But we still got to greet our, we still got to greet our people. That's the greet. We need to greet them. I ain't mad. You can't walk it. into no room with a shirt that says hello and not still say hello to people. If, but if they, if you, if I address that person for not saying hello and they say I got a shirt that say hello. No, I wouldn't I accept might, that. I, I might accept that. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't. Know. I wouldn't. If y'all see me, especially, I, I wouldn't accept that. But go ahead. All right. So, oh yeah. So I'm watching the news the other morning and I saw on a ticker under the news screen that it was a guy. Wasn't, you said you read about it. Was, was he from Virginia? They lived in Virginia. They lived in I don't Virginia. Know if he was from. I, I mean, that's what I mean. Did I it happen in Virginia? Thing. I believe so. Basically, a dude um, got sentenced to a hundred years. So they already. I, I, I'm mad. I ain't even know about this story until he got sentenced. He got sentenced to a hundred years for killing his coworker because his coworker ate his lunch out the work refrigerator. <laughs> so, I mean, let me tell you, being a person who does and have worked in corporate buildings where you have this communal fridge and people be in there touching your shit don't touch people shit they write their name all over it there is never food in the fridge for everybody there's never food in the fridge for everybody the food that's in the fridge it all has an owner so don't go in there eating up people's stuff, especially if you work somewhere and you and it's a stressful workplace. And if you did not bring money for food or food to eat, that is your fault. You don't eat other people's food. Yeah, I mean, I agree. That's disgusting. I think it's disgusting because I don't. You don't even know who, who. Do you know who food you eating? I don't know. He don't care. Obviously, I don't care because that, that's a that's a thing. People eating people food out of the refrigerator. I'm not even going to, even if I know whose food it is, even if you offer me some, where you get this food from? Are you white? Are you black? If you white, it's an immediate no. I can't even fathom this shit because this is so far from some shit I would do. Just eat somebody's random people food. People do it. I know. Yeah, that's a thing. People do it. I but just can't believe nothing. it's a thing. I think can't believe I, unless you somebody that just ain't eating. If you ain't eating for whatever reason, like you just not eating because you can't afford that's the only thing. If you just a person like, oh, I ain't bringing lunch today, or I don't feel like making lunch, I have people, or I'm hungry. I'm hungry right now, and I ain't bringing my lunch. I'm going to eat somebody else's shit. Or I don't in, understand none of that. Or they'll go into somebody's lunch and take something out of it. So, like, let's say you packed yourself some food, and you brought it to work. Maybe you had, like, a sandwich and, like, some carrots and another container and, like, some fruit or something in there. And they'll come open it up and take something out. They might take a sandwich out and leave everything else in there. They might take carrots out and leave everything else in there. Like, people will come and pick through people's shit, too. So, me being a person who works in an office building, I've never experienced somebody taking my food personally. But... I can see myself stabbing somebody, maybe not to death, but I can most definitely see somebody stabbing somebody over something like that. And who knows how many times he did it to him. He probably been writing threatening letters and taping up his stuff for weeks. I'm gonna trying you, to keep people from stealing his shit. I'm going to tell you like this. Overall, my whole point, I just thought it was crazy. My first thought was like, this nigga got 100 years, his life is over. 100 years is crazy. I was sitting there thinking, this nigga got 100 years. That was my first thought. That's this nigga got 100 years. In Virginia. His life is over. So I automatically put myself in shoes like, this nigga is a uh, hundred years. But then my second thought was like, why is y'all eating people food out the refrigerator? That was my second thought. Like, out the work refrigerator. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't no, I don't care. If, I can have me a ribeye. I'm not stabbing nobody. I'm not killing nobody. You've, put never, them eating worked, my lunch. you've never worked in that type of So you feel like you got to be in that, you, you got to be in that situation to understand the yes. rage? Mm-hmm. Because one, oh, I, it, probably wasn't the, it probably wasn't the first time. I can see. It probably wasn't the second, third, or fourth. He's probably bringing food that he cooked. His wife done packed him a lunch. He probably wrapping it up, writing his name over it, doing all types of stuff to let people know, this is mine. Do not touch. And then somebody who was rude and ignorant, you willing to hop out of the car for somebody if they cut you off. That's different. Imagine if you do all this work. That's to protect, like a, No. Imagine if you do all this stuff to protect your food and now somebody in there fucking with your food that you got to eat. 
I mean, I'll be mad, but I ain't about to kill nobody. But you might. I don't know. I never been in that situation. I'm. A, I can see you. So you telling me there's a self, a, a, a more rage involved than mm -hmm. I realize. Yeah. I mean, a, okay, I can see, but I just don't think I'm really one willing to kill nobody for eating my lunch. Man, I, I would. I would stop putting my food in the refrigerator. But where else will you keep it? If you if you're at a place where you're at an office where you're stuck in it all day long for nine hours, if you get an hour lunch, eight and a half, if you get a 30 minute lunch, it's probably not close anywhere. So you can't drive and go somewhere to get your, go to go get something to eat. So you have to bring something. You bring your food, you're hungry. Yeah, what if you really wanted it? Mm -hmm. Cause you know, I'm almost sitting there thinking about what if I lived in a house with people and I got some baked cookies and I bought these baked cookies. And you come home and I'm like, and I'm gonna bake these cookies. Gone. And I come home and somebody baked my cookies and ate. Somebody went to court for that. Absolutely. And the judge sided with them. I, believe I watched one of them court shows. They was like, Your Honor, he ate my cookies or she, somebody, they ate my baked cookies and everybody was laughing. It's a real and thing. And then the judge was like, You ate his cookies. You can't eat the man because he bought them cookies. He was like, I really wanted my cookies, Your Honor. It's a, a, yeah, yeah, I see. It's it is a, a real, real thing. Real thing. Thing. But killing somebody, I'm not gonna kill them. I maybe I whoop their ass. Maybe, maybe you won't. I whoop their ass. Maybe you won't kill them the first time. But see, the thing is, I can fight. So I always do think about this too. People that commit murders and stabbings, everybody can't fight. So what else? I guess he either just gonna be a victim, but also, or he gonna think about it like put this, somebody like, down. Like, but really think about it. You bring your food in every day. Somebody is eating your food every day. Right? But I just would stop. But, I was, hold on, hold on. You coming in and he's eating, bring your food. You got to eat. You can't, there's, you need a refrigerator. Man, there's you, no other, hold on. There's nothing else that you can really do, right? But not only is he eating your food, but you walking in and you seeing this asshole eat your food in front of your face. And he acting like he don't care. Or maybe he lying to but you. But you so maybe, how we know he eating he's in front of his face? Because how else he know, how else he know that he ate his food? I don't know. How else he know? Because he probably caught him. And... He probably was sitting there. Okay, like, he might have caught him. Mm -hmm, and like he when you said eating in front of face, I thought I mean, you were making it like he doing it on, on purpose, like nigga. But he and then the dude probably was just like, "That's my food," and he probably was like, "Nah, I brought this home. I brought this from home." Lying like shit, knowing that he ain't got no heat. This white man ain't making no Ethiopian food in his kitchen. I'm just assuming that the food is Ethiopian because it looked like he. <laughs> he looked Ethiopian. like he was something. But you know, like you can look and be like, "Man, you ain't bringing this. This is my motherfucking food. My wife packed this for me." And you gonna sit there and eat it in front of my face and then lie to me to my face he after you've been eating my food for probably damn near a week already? He was a, I am the captain now looking ass. Mm -hmm. And he, I am I'm the, the captain, captain now. His ass with that knife. But he doing a hundred years, it wasn't worth it. But it was, we agree that wasn't. It, but you saying rage? It's rage. Working in an office will set you. You've experienced a little bit of that for me some days. Working in an office will set you off, especially when you dealing with white people who act like they bigger and better than everybody. And he got set off. He get, he he went about it the wrong way. All right. You know, but I'm sure he not, I'm sure he not in jail regretting his decision. You say you sure he's not, not regretting. Not his regretting decision. it. Mm hmm. You crazy. He probably you sitting this way. I'm not saying he. I'm not saying that he did the right thing, but I'm not surprised that he took it as far as he did. Okay. And I can people, see. You, people be I busting up in their workplaces with guns, killing everybody because of stuff going on at their job. So that that corporate work shit is crazy, and then it's always like some little nitpick type of thing that got, builds up, builds up, builds I up, and then see, you explode. But if the people that come in there spraying the joint, I need to know what the what caused it. If you tell me you spraying it because somebody eating your lunch, I'm like, nigga. I'm gonna Google it and see if I can find something. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I need to know why. Because typically, I'm thinking like they at work. Everybody. It's been to work the job where you just going in that job is just frustrating and miserable. You got an asshole boss treating you a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? And, or you probably get end up and end up getting fired, and you just like y'all ruined my life. Da, da, da. Somebody eating your lunch, but I'll concede. I'll concede. All right, so we just wanted to talk about that. Thank you. Y'all have Thank a good you. day. On to the next.